Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. Yesterday I got the chance to take a look at the three phones that make up Verizon's new Droid lineup. Now that I've had some time to reflect, we're going to take a look at all three and see how they stack up against each other. The main thing to understand here is that aside from battery and display size, these phones all share the same specs. The chipset is Motorola's X8 mobile computing system, which seems to be based on a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro design with a 1.7 GHz dual-core CPU and quad-core Adreno 320 GPU. Then we have two cores left, one dedicated to natural language processing and another for contextual computing, which is likely behind some of the features like the new active display, which only lights up a portion of the screen for notifications. Each phone has 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage with no micro SD slot. The cameras are the same as well, with a 2 megapixel shooter up front and a 10 megapixel camera in the rear. Clear pixel technology here uses an RGBC sensor instead of the normal RGB to allow unfiltered light through when taking a photo. This doesn't add any additional color information, but it does add more light information, so low light photography should be improved and pictures should be less likely to blur. That said, we haven't yet had the chance to test this in depth. So, with all of these similarities, what makes these phones different? Let's start with the Droid Ultra. At the event, Verizon made a point of stressing that this is currently the world's thinnest 4G LTE smartphone at only 7.2 millimeters thick. It has a 5-inch display and a fairly thin bezel, keeping with the generally thin feel of the device. Next up is the Droid Max. It shares its display size with the Ultra at 5 inches, but is a little thicker at 8.5 millimeters. This extra space is used to house a 3,500 milliamp hour battery, while the Ultra only has a 2,130 milliamp hour battery. Motorola claims that the Max can get you up to 48 hours of battery life. Finally, we have the Droid Mini. Unlike the mini phones currently arriving from other manufacturers, the Droid Mini keeps all the specs the same, just in a smaller size, with a 4.3 inch screen and 2000 milliamp hour battery. Looking at these phones, personally I could see myself going with the most expensive phone, the Droid Max, because I tend to tear through battery life. That said, those who don't need that kind of battery life or a 5 inch screen would be well served by the Droid Mini, especially since it's the cheapest of the three phones. It's funny that the phone that people were paying the most attention to before the event was the Droid Ultra, since it doesn't really have anything all that special about it aside from its super thinness. For more coverage of the new Droid lineup, check out our other videos or head over to AndroidAuthority.com. Make sure to stay tuned for more news, reviews, Q&A, giveaways, and more. I'm Chris Wilk, and as always, thanks for watching.